Hello and welcome to a new video. Today's video is completely inspired by Honey Bunch of Onion Tops, so I'll leave her videos down below. We're doing a week of vegan dinners and I'll be honest, these weren't consecutive nights either. So the first recipe we have here is buttered nut chicken from this book um, and using sunfish chicken. Sunfish chicken is actually made from pea protein, but it was really good and this idea was spurred on by one of Luke's friends. So I added masala to the sunfish chicken as it started to fry off and then to the onion garlic mix in a different pan I added a whole bunch. I added garlic powder, ginger, masala, turmeric and cumin. Cumin is actually my favourite spice. Just a fun little fact for you there. Once I'd added all the spices and dry fried it for a bit I added some tomatoes, tin tomatoes and then after that had been on for a while added some cashews. Once that was all done, I blended it up and it made this incredibly delicious and wildly creamy sauce. I put it back in the pan to let it simmer for a little bit and added some coconut milk. Mix that in, let it sit for a little bit. Mm -mm -mm. <laughs> and then we added in the sun-fed chicken. Once the sun-fed chicken was added in, I just let it simmer for a little bit longer and we served it with rice. I ended up having peas with mine because I like peas, but Luke had it without and it was so delicious and so creamy and perfect for a veggie-versary. The next recipe is this dal inspired by a deliciously aloe recipe. I didn't have the same ingredients so I kind of just roughly followed it. I chopped up some onion and some carrots in large chunks and then I also got to chopping up some capsicum for later, some broccoli instead of cauliflower and some kumra. The broccoli and the kumra went into the oven while the carrots and the onions went into a fry pan. Once I fried them off for a little bit, I started adding in some spices. I used curry powder and cumin again, and we added a little bit of veggie stock. I added in the lentils, which are just dried lentils, plain old dried, and then added some coconut milk, and then waited for them to cook. I added in the capsicum, the broccoli once they're done, and the kumara was still in the oven, and then just let it simmer and simmer and simmer until it was ready to eat. I also added some peas because, as we've already established, I really love peas. I served it with some rice, and it was a big bowl of vegetables, and it was delicious. The next night we had a very comforting meal. It was mash and veggie sausages. So we used these Beam Supreme sausages and then I had some kurma and some carrots that I had to use up. So I chopped them up into fries and then added some Moroccan seasoning and some thyme. I know it's root with more root vegetables but just had to use them and they turned out really good. So I put them in the oven with the sausages and baked those, added some peas to a pot because who doesn't like peas and I tried to make this gravy. I decided to make a gravy. I didn't have all the ingredients from the minimalist baker recipe so I sort of just roughly followed it. In a pan I put some onions and some garlic and fried them off. Then I added some corn flour, fried it, dry fried it again and added a little bit of veggie stock. Luke was in charge of mashing the potatoes and he did a very good job. Once the onion mixture thing had boiled for a while, I tipped it into a blender, blended it up, and it made a whole lot. It was alright. And then we dished it up. It's a very comforting meal. The carrots and the kumara turned out really nice. And the gravy was okay too. I think if I had the proper ingredients, it would be a thousand times better, but it, I had I did what I did with what I had. The next recipe was burgers. Super easy meal. After I had the kumara chips the night, the other night, I had to make them again. So I just chopped them up, put them on the oven tray, and then 
put, we use these Bean Supreme Gourmet Burgers as well and then I put those in the oven. All you do is cut up your vegetables, bake your meat patty thing and then you have a delicious easy burger. We also had some caramelized onion with it, it was super easy, a great kid friendly meal as well and I enjoyed it. The next recipe is veggie bowls which is super easy. It's essentially rice with vegetables on top. I made this Mexican kind of black bean thing. Some broccoli, kumra, peas, Ooh. carrot, lettuce, cucumber and tomato. And it was delicious. And that was a week of vegan dinners. I hope you enjoyed it and I will see you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching. Bye!